Well, let's see the second example. Here we have a straight line passing through a point minus two one and having a directing coefficient, which is in fact the slope a equal three. The solution here, it's preferable to uh, think about the reduced equation since we have the slope directly we plug in the slope here which is 3 to get y equal 3x plus b. We need the value of b and we must find the values, we must have the values of y and x. As you know, y and x represent the coordinates of a point on the straight line. Here we have point a minus 2, 1, as you see, belongs to d. So as a belongs to d, then the coordinates of a satisfy the equation of d which is y a equals 3x a plus b. This leads to 1 equal 3 into minus 2 plus b. At the end, we get the value of b. After that, we just replace b by its value to get the reduced equation of uh, d, which is y equal 3x plus c. If you are asked to find a standard form, you must rearrange these terms to get the standard form by this way. And this is the standard equation also of d. Let's see another example. A straight line D passing through a point B of coordinates 2 minus 1 and having S of coordinates 3 minus 4 as a direction vector. Solution. Try to think alone. Okay. Here we have, as you see, a straight line passing through B and have a direction vector S. Here, the, uh, the idea is based on, again, by putting m, placing m of coordinates x, y on the straight line. And as you see, we have a constant relation here between two vectors, b, m, and s, or m, b, and s. As you see, b, m, uh, we are going to find the equation in different forms, three different forms, standard, reduced, and parametric later. In the part A, I'm going to find standard and reduced form. Let M, X, Y be any point on D. X, Y in general. Any point on D, which is unknown for us, not of unknown equation. We just know that it passes through B and has direction vector S. Then, B, M vector, X, B, X, M minus X, B, Y, M minus Y, B, to get this, and the coordinates of S, these two vectors are always collinear as m moves on the straight line. And uh, from collinearity, we can use this relation xy prime equal yx prime. This leads to this relation and expanding, reducing them, putting them on the left side to get the standard form. And as I said, as I have said, we have we are going to find the three forms, find the equation of d in three forms. This is the standard equation. Uh, in reduced form, just isolate y on the left side and taking all the other terms uh, to the right side to get this reduced form. Okay. Now, in parametric form, uh, remember that the param general parametric form is x equal alpha t plus x point on d, y equal beta t plus y of a point on d. As you know, we are given point B on the straight line, so we may just directly replace x, b, and y, b by their values, where alpha and beta, as you know, alpha and beta are the coordinates of a direction vector of d, and we have it, we are given it, which is s3 minus 4, so alpha will be 3 and beta will be minus 4, just plug these values here and these values here to get a parametric equation, it's so direct, where t here depends Parameter is called t here. Notice that we may replace the parameter by any letter other than x and y. Sure, may usually we use the letters t, t prime, k, k prime, m, whatsoever. Okay, let's see another example. A straight line L passing through point A, and as you see from the figure, the figure helps to uh, understand what to do, what relation do we have between vectors. I advise you to uh, make a sketch for this. Uh, and L is parallel to another straight line, another uh, straight line whose equation parametric form uh, in parametric form is given. Here the parameter, as you see, is M. So 